Okay, in this problem, we're given a uh, function f, partial, the partial derivative of a function f with respect to y, and we're asked to determine f as far as possible using a of x as an arbitrary function of x. And we're given that our partial derivative, f sub y, is equal to cosine of the quantity x times y plus x times e to the y. Okay, so we're given the partial derivative with respect to y, so we want to integrate our partial derivative and um, integrate with respect to y. So. so I'm going to go ahead and... Oh. dy. So I'm going to go ahead and split this up into two integrals since um, the integral of the sum is the sum of integrals. So we have So we get that the integral of cosine of xy dy plus x times the integral of e to the y dy. And we pulled an x out of the second term because in we're integrating with respect to y, so x is just a constant. And now we're going to go ahead and use uh, u substitution on cosine of xy. So if we let So if we let u be x times y, then du is going to be x dy because we're taking the derivative of x times y with respect to y. So our x is our constant, so the derivative of y times a constant is just the constant, x. So when we substitute in, we get the integral of cosine of u over x. And remember, x is a constant here. And we know that the integral of e to the y with dy is e to the y, so plus x e to the y. And now we'll take the integral of, we can bring the 1 over x on the outside of our integral. So we have 1 over x times the integral of cosine u. So the integral of cosine is negative, oh, positive sine. So we have sine u over x plus x e to the y. And now we'll, we'll also include the e or plus a of x. in that integral. And so the last step that we need to do is substitute our u back in. So we have sine of xy over x plus x e to the y plus a of x is equal to our function f. And again, the a of x is just there because when we take the partial derivative of our function f with respect to y, we want to get this equation. And when we take the partial derivative of a of x with respect to y, that's just a constant term, so it goes to 0. So this is our function f as far as we can determine.